is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. And this is the Scrubby Sunday video. The Scrubby Sunday supports uh, homeless veterans out in Arizona. They are making hand washing stations and we are making dishcloths for the hand washing stations. Um, that deadline to send them is coming up pretty quick. It is like November 11th, so I'll probably have maybe one more Scrubby Sunday after this one to show what I'm sending off finally. Yeah, that was coming up pretty quick. So Scrubby Sunday came about, um, I guess uh, Heather at Strings and, St Strings and Thread was doing washcloths and they had reached out to her to ask, hey, can you make washcloths for um, for, for them, for the homeless veterans, for the hand washing stations. And of course she said yes. And there is a bunch of us now on YouTube also doing that. So in the description will be the, the people that, well, that I know of is participating. And it's Grubby Sunday. Also, if you want to make, I mean, it's not too late yet, if you want to make some dishcloths and send them to the American Darf Starfish, I'll have that information in the description as well. So anyway, as far as scrubbies, I, only, I made dishcloths, I only made one. I got one done. So anyway, this, I decided to, to try knitting. This is the scrub off yarn that I got gifted with for me. And it has not only the, the cotton yarn, but it has this little scrubby texture in it. And I did a knitted one. And it's kind of it was it's kind of hard to crochet to work with that scrubby part of it. It is much easier to knit with that. So all this is is kind of like I call it a garter rib. What does it feel with the rib? We got stuck in it for like two stitches and a garter stitch for the other one. You know the garter stitch is is where you knit every row. So. I was going to kind of do a seed type stitch, but then I guess I changed my mind and did this rib instead. It is the one thing I don't like. One thing I, I would prefer when I make knit projects that are going to be seen on both sides to make them the same on both sides, but it didn't work out that way. So this is the wrong side. That's the right side. Or I guess whichever side you prefer to be the right or wrong, it's, it's going to be a dishcloth. So, yep, only one this week and I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to make any more but I'll try because my initial plan was to make a tutorial on um either the kind of like this the one that did like this that's kind of like the Suzette stitch or I think I've also made one that was kind of like an offset spider stitch so I'll probably do a tutorial on one or both of those or maybe at a later date I don't know I haven't decided yet We'll see. We'll see what how the week turns out. So yeah, only one. And if you've seen the video I done when I was in Cedar Rapids, when my husband was in the hospital, during my vacation, I made like a whole bunch of dishcloths. So make sure you check out if you haven't done so. You can check out that video to see all the other dishcloths I had made. So yeah, that is it for yeah. That's it. I have. That's all I have for dishcloths. Keep an eye out because I did, I was, even though I was, I didn't make a washcloth tutorial. I did make, I am in the process of making another tutorial on this cute little guy. Okay, this is the one that you're going to see in the video. This is the first one I did. Oh, he's so cute. My plan was to make it like uh, like one of them sitting, like one of them frogs. You've seen the frogs with the little skinny legs, but I wasn't, I, had to, I wasn't, I should have looked up a pattern, but I was trying to figure out the eyes and then, you know, sometimes I see the eye, the bumpy eyes on the frogs. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to make it a dude or a person, just give him some little hyperbolic hair, you know, give him a little... Little wormy little arms and legs, kind of be almost like we call it. We're, I'm gonna call him Freddy, my little Fridget doll. I will call it our Fridget friend. It's so cute. So I'm, I'm working on a tutorial on that. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. 
that is all I have for this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you always for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye now. Yeah.